Uh, I need to mute someone. Okay, so today we are going to talk about how to use a matrix. It's very simple. And uh, I don't want to give you too much information because lots of people I know when we attend the seminar, if there's too much information, we get confused, get a heartache. So this is why I will try to make everything easy and simple. Okay, let's start. First, I will share my screen. Uh, okay, so this is a screen. So when uh, this presentation, probably I'm going to take about uh, less than one hour. So if you have any question, uh, it's maybe it's not directly related to the topic I'm gonna talk about. I suggest you put in the, uh, the question in the chart because we don't want to uh, uh, waste other people's time to talk about the question is not related. If the question is related, I still suggest you put the question in the chart. Uh, in case you forget. And uh, maybe after I finish, I will give uh, everybody maybe it's 15, 20, 15, 20 minutes, we can uh, have a question and answer time. Okay, let's uh, start. Uh, this is the MLS. When you log in, I think everybody, this is the same screen when you log into the MLS. Uh, first, so you, you go to the search property. When you go to the search property, so they will show the very important message. It's to say the matrix or stratus before the February 17. You have to make a choice. Uh, if you are the experienced agent, you're very busy. You don't have too much time to learn the new things. I will suggest you stay uh, with Stratus because you're already familiar how to use and you're already working very well with Stratus. If the new salesperson, or if you think the learning, you are fast learning, I will suggest you use Matrix because you know you have to learn strategies or matrix anyway. If you are the new salesperson registered within last six months or last one year, you have to learn anyway. I will suggest you choose matrix. How to choose a matrix? Before the 17, you have to click here. When you log in, you see there's a called manage my profile. Click manage my profile. And here, MLS choice. You can choose stratus or matrix so if i choose matrix and i do the agree and update so this is going to tell the system i'm going to choose matrix uh, this may take 24 hours uh, the system will update if you don't want to change it to matrix just don't do anything it would automatically default you will use the stratus. Okay, let's click matrix login. Uh, for matrix, they have a, a lots, lots of the function, but I suggest agent, we don't use, we, we don't want to learn too much. We just wanted to learn the very, very basic one. You know, when we are registered uh, as a salesperson, we want to know how to search property. We want to know how to uh, compare the, uh, property, how much the property is supposed to be if uh, someone wants to sell the property. And uh, also how to search the lease, how to search commercial, how to search, uh, how to search commercial lease, commercial sale, commercial small business. So that is very basic uh, function. And before the basic function, the search is the second important thing. The first important thing is I will suggest every agent we need to set up, set up or matrix. Because every system, if you don't set up, there's a, uh, no information there. Uh, if you already log into the computer, if you already go to the matrix, just follow my step under my matrix. If you mouse put the, my matrix, they have a drop down menu. Click the drop down menu, go to last one, it's called My Information. 
click my information. And this is a very basic setting. So if you are the new salesperson, or if you never use a matrix, you should come here to do the setup. Uh, the first one is called the information. Your first name, last name, description, uh, destination, phone number. Those information you cannot change because those information is import from trap. So if you want to change, you have to go to manage uh, my profile. How to go to manage my profile? You can click the here, tools. You will see manage my profile. Right here. If you never go to manage my profile, you may click manage and enter your tribe number and enter your password. The password is your first name, initial, and your last name. For example, my name is Sammy Yang. So my password is S Y A N G. Just use your first name, initial, that means one letter of your first name and your full last name. You click, you can sign in. Once you sign in, you can click the profile. You can change the information here. Click edit. You can change. If you want to change any information, you can change. So I'm not going to take a, a go uh, any further for this, this uh, information is very basic. So you just let you know how to change the information. Still come back to my information. Here, if you want to change, you can change it from managing my profile. And after that, so if you see there's a tagline, that means a slogan. So every agent, when you join the brokerage, I think you get your own slogan. Slogan, that means um, uh, every time, you know, when the paper uh, think about you, you have a slogan. Uh, home life slogan is green and the gold, get it sold. So maybe you can choose a win, win agent or uh, whatever. Think about the slogan for yourself. If you don't have any in your mind, you can leave a blank. Additional information. Maybe I will put my cell phone number because here I didn't change. I will put the, uh, my cell phone number. So that is a very basic information for the first one. The second one is very important. It's called the herder and the folder, uh, uh, folder. The herder is when you send the email to your client, your client, when they open the email, what will look like the herder? So the default, the default, I believe the default is uh, uh, the, the default. The default, there is no herder and a header and a footer. You have to choose. So whatever anyone, if you like, you know, I, for me, maybe I like the this one blue sofa. Oh, blue, blue sofa too. There's a two, anyone. Maybe I choose the second one. You can choose any. There's lots, lots of the options. If you think those options is not quite fit for you, you can DIY your own, DIY your own uh, herder. And once you choose a herder and you need put information, the information you can set from the drop down menu. Usually the first information I will suggest you use uh, your name. The name is registered with Rico and also imported to the trap. So, if you choose the name, the name will show up on the top. The second one, choose your uh, title. Like you are the salesperson or broker, you can choose from the second one because it will show on the top. And the next one, I'd like to choose my email address. The next one, I want to choose my uh, office phone number. Maybe you can choose your cell phone number if you want. And the next one, you can choose the office address. Or you can just uh, uh, put uh, your website. You know, remember in the first one information, you can put a slogan to your website and then you can check your, uh, your website from here. 
And the color, we use the default. Of course, if you want to choose a fancy color, you can use your custom. There's lots, lots different color. But anyway, to save the time, I just choose default. And uh, the, fold, the folder, I just use uh, uh, no print folder for me. The reason is we want to, when we really want to print out the MLS information to save the paper, because if you put a uh, folder, that means that it will cost lots of the extra paper, maybe a color print. So I don't want to do that. So that's why I chose a, a no filter print for me and then do the same. So that is the second one, header and the folder. Next one, CMA cover uh, sheet. So you can leave that for now because I think in the future you can play around. Uh, the next one, I'm going to ask you to set, uh, set up the email signature. Uh, usually I will copy my email signature from my email, just a copy and a paste. That's it, very quite simple. If you want to put, want to put your business card, you can uh, put your business card by using here, insert image. The image you can do, if you have a URL, you can use the URL. If you don't have, you can upload. Oh, there's no upload. First is use your business card to the, uh, usually I will uh, upload it to uh, Google Drive or Google Photo, uh, Google Photo, and then copy the URL to here. So that is the second one, uh, email signature. The last one is, uh, is also very important. Lots of people, they uh, not set up properly. So first one, the photo is a bigger photo. But anyway, if you don't want a photo, you can uncheck. But if you need a photo, you can change your photo. If you have another photo, maybe you can change. Uh, so that is the first one. I will suggest it to put a photo because the people, when the, uh, your client receive the email, they want to know who is the, uh, who is the person and uh, what it looks like if they're first time buyer, uh, first time they never see you. Second one is a proto grading. The grading is, uh, uh, I will suggest you to write down something. The grading will show up when the people receive your email. Let's give you a sample because that's make a very straightforward. Here I open the email. I open the some uh, email, for example. Oops. Uh, for example, the client received the email I send it to them. This is a client email when they open the view the listing you see on the top this is the herder it's very beautiful and it looks like a fresh and this is the information i send it to them they can choose different view maybe map view maybe another one the list view maybe you can choose another different gallery view whatever they want to choose so the information I told you is here, my agent. Because when the people, they open the email, they click my agent. So the photo, first one is a photo will be here. The next one is a greeting. This is a greeting. If you don't put a greeting, it will, this is a area will be a blank. So that's why you know why, uh, where we put a greeting, where they will show up. You can write down the more, like, you know, how many years, in the business, maybe how many years experience to do the invest, invest, invest the real, uh, real estate. And uh, what is the advantage of why the people should choose you? Write down something here. And uh, don't forget to check. The next one is uh, called the inventory slide issue for the, and the link. If you have a listing, you check my active listing. That means uh, your listing information will show up under here because I don't have any listing, they will show, won't show up. So that is another advantage for the agent. Uh, next one, the video. I think the video is a lot of people they never know uh, before the strategy they cannot, uh, you know, touch video when you send the e when you send the email to your client for any interest of property. Now they have uh, the matrix. They have a, a function you can. Uh, put some videos 
the video, I think you can first is you can do any like a, a YouTube video. Maybe you can quickly use your cell phone to record. Oh, my name is Sammy Young. I'm working with Home Life Landmark, and I'm going to help every uh, buyer or seller to uh, find your dream home. So if you have any question, please feel free to let me know my contact information. Just a very quick and simple video put here. And of course, if you have any listing, you can use your cell phone, go to take a video, introduce the property where located, how many bedroom, how many square feet, and uh, how much the price listing. Just if you have more listing, the listing will uh, show when the, you know, when the people, they click the view after they finish. And the more video will show up here. The people will click and see the more vid videos. So that is another function I think is very good. You can use the YouTube video. Uh, it's very quite a simple. If you have a YouTube account, just share the video. When you share the video, they have a link, the YouTube video link, copy and paste, that's it. And the client, when they open the, uh, email, they click my agent. They will see the video. Why they don't see the video? Because I just disabled. Because <laughs> when I do the training, I just disable. I have to save it. And after I save it, I will refresh. You will see that video will show up here. So that is another exposure for yourself or your listing to potential client if you have a YouTube video. Of course, it's not only YouTube, whatever any video. And the last one is called the contact information. So that is the same. You have lots of the choice just to see which, which information, what information you want to show to your client. Once you just select, the information will show here. When the client open my agent, uh, the information will show on the bottom. Yeah, that is a very quick. I will go uh, go through the uh, my information to set up your matrix. Uh, it's quite uh, quite simple, but you have to set up. Uh, the next one I'm going to talk about the. Uh, how to search the property. Because when we are the new salesperson, when we open the matrix or stratus, just feels like you know this software is so complicated. Uh, but anyway, you don't need to learn everything. Just a very easy, basic, how to search. And after that, you may learn little by little, the more uh, technique in the future. So first one, search. The search, they have a, uh, there's a different way to search. First way, I will uh, show you, maybe you never learned, learned from, from other you know, trainings. Uh, you see there's the, called a space bar. When you log into matrix, you see there's a street, there's a space bar, space. This is space you can do lots, lots of things. For example, the first one, if your client told you, oh, uh, Sammy, uh, I just uh, drive the car, just pass by the some, uh, you know, the community. There's one property I think I'm really wanted to know. Can you find out for me? So if they told you the uh, like a street name and the address, for example, I just use one of our office listing. Uh, if they told you, oh, there's a uh, 264, uh, R I V E R. River walk. That's it. They just told you, <laughs> I just know the 264 river walk. You just enter from here. Before, you know, when we use the strategy, we have to open the search, we have to do it. Right now, it's a straightforward. Just put, put the 264 river walk, and uh, they will give you the information. So it's a street number. I just uh, click the first one. It will quickly pull up all the information regarding 264 River Wall. And you see the active listing. I will quickly click here. Yeah, this is a listing available. It's $1.1 million. And uh, the property looks like you click a photo. 
they can give you the all the photos will show in the one page or you can click one by one the next to check the photos or you can if you are the lazy <laughs> you, you said i don't want to click one by one click here the it's called the uh, slide shoe when you click slide shoe just enjoy your coffee they will go every like a five second go to next uh, photos and then if you say oh i don't have a time very you know rush i run out of time just click the here they will give you the all the information if you see i want to check the backyard uh, click here they will come out backyard yeah that is one the listing if you have a uh, people give you the address you find out you see this is uh, the our office listing the listing agents rob rob wong rob the wong and if you want to, here's a phone number. If you want to quickly talk to your agent and call the number and see, oh, my client wanted to interest a property, you list uh, in the one. It's one, oh, yeah, in the Markham. So uh, maybe you want to know some information. That's a very, very fast way you can use here. It's a space on the main page. The second thing is like uh, you can do is, uh, for example, uh, your client told you, oh, uh, I just uh, drive by the community. I see there's a for sale sign. The name is called Rabbit One. <laughs> Sorry, I use Rabbit. Uh, let, let's use a sample. They told you it's Rabbit One, but I don't know the street name and the address. So you can very quick and easy click AG. Remember AG, what's it mean the AG? It's agent, R-O-B-E-R-T, W-E-N-G. It will come out rub to one and then you click the name you click the listing uh they said oh it's markham okay you find the markham 264 river wall also they have another listing maybe your client only see the 264 river walk you you can tell them oh by the way you know there's another listing in the almost like uh, it's not a too far so do you want to see another listing so that is the way you do the search on the top. First one, enter the street name and the number. Second one, if you want to find the agent, uh, you can quickly, quickly to find the agent. Uh, agent, that means AG. And uh, let's just say maybe I want to find the, uh, what, what's the agent name? Uh, maybe our top listing agent, Rico, R I C K L E, Rico Huang. For example, if you want to look for Rico Huang, click. They will come out and then click you find that there's a uh, email address there's a no cell phone number but you can open the website the website usually they will show the agent's cell phone number you see 647 the cell phone number so that is another way if you uh, want to contact with the agent just click agent enter the name uh, another way to use the search use the space is a for example your client told you oh uh, i have a very limited budget but i want to look in for the property uh, in the gta area it's around like maybe 800 to eight eight hundred thousand between eight hundred thousand to nine hundred thousand okay so if that's in case i will put here see the space uh, act ACT that means active listing and then I will put in dollar eight hundred thousand to nine hundred thousand then I will enter the search put one more oh sorry it's my fault uh, this is you should put just a three zero. That means that they will default another three zero in the system. If if you put eight hundred to nine hundred thousand, that means a thousand they already have a system default. You just put eight hundred to nine hundred. They will come out the listing everywhere in the GTA. The listing price between eight hundred to nine hundred. Let's see how many listing they have lots. Uh, yeah, more than 200. Maybe let's sort to eight, 
20, 800 to 820. They will have a very limited, only 79 listing. Let's say 8 to 815, maybe have a less. There's only 48. 8 to 810, there's only 37 listing. So that is a very easy way, save you time. For example, the people say, oh, I'm looking for a very limited budget. Maybe some people say, oh, you know what? I'm looking for the 800 or less. That means 800,000 or the minus, that means less. So they have a, they have a last listing because of some listing maybe, oh, sorry, there's a, uh, for lease, we, we don't want to count for lease, but anyway, so you can give you some idea. Usually I will suggest you use a range because if you use a less, that means the least they will count in. Maybe a 700 to 720. Let's see how many, 65 result. That is from everywhere in the tribe listing. Maybe it's a, a GTA, maybe it's whatever outside the listing, but there's a list by tribe. So that is another way you use, uh, use the uh, price range. Uh, maybe sometimes you said, you know what? I'm looking for sold condition. <laughs> sold condition, you can use SC. Uh, SC, if you want to see SC 7 to 720, that means uh, so the condition between the 700,000 to 720,000. So they will come out of the sold condition. And if you need some, it's called the S, uh, sold one, SLD. I put the SLD, that means sold. You see the status is sold. And the next one, if you want to put the expired, that means the EXP, expired. And if you wanted to find, maybe it's a suspend, S suspend, S U, suspend. Suspend, that means S U. And then maybe you want to find the terminate, it's a T E R, terminate. So that's a very quick and a fast way to help you to search, uh, use the quick search bar. All right, so that is the one very quick and fast way you can use here. And also there's another way uh, to use uh, before I jump in the search, regular search. Uh, for example, you know, sometimes you want to save some, if, save some search, the search you want to quickly to find out, you can use here. Uh, let's give you the sample. Maybe I will use a freehold. Uh, I'm looking for the property. Let's call the U N I O N V I L L E Unionville. Yes, Unionville. You can just enter the community name. Uh, in the Unionville, I want to use here as a circle within the one kilometer. Come back and all detach, two story and the two garage. There's eight listing result. For example, I found already found the, uh, the union view is the center within one kilometer radius. I found the listing, uh, but now I need to just find, the, just put in somewhere in the future. Maybe uh, if I come back, I want to see all oh, Union view, I just before searched. So that is another e easy and fast way we can use here. It's called, we use um, save, click the save. Once you select, click save, you see the new speed bar shortcut. Use a new speed bar shortcut. U-N-I-O-N-V-I-L-L-E, that's it. Union view. When I save, when after I click the save, I can do whatever I wanted to do. Maybe after, maybe later, 
I say, oh, I want to check the union view. I just save the listing. So I can use the speed bar. One, just a, use a sample. And then U-N-I-O-N-V-I-L-L-E. When I click, they will quickly come out. So this will stay here forever. This, the name is only help you to quickly find out. It's like a saved search, but it's they call the, uh, Sure, is but they call the speed bar shortcut. Okay, so before we jump in the search, I think I give you some idea. You know, you can use the space, the space. You can enter MLS number. You can use address. You can use the price range quickly to help you find out the property listings. And the next one, I will quickly jump up the search. How to use the search. Uh, search, they have a different type. One is a freehold, another one is a freehold lease, another one condominium, uh, another one condominium lease, another one commercial, commercial lease. The cross property, that means uh, put everything together. You know, sometimes you said, oh, maybe I need a commercial for sale. Maybe I need a commercial for lease. So that is they will, you can use a cross property. That means they cross the different type. First, let's check, see if it, you, are, uh, you have a friend, maybe you have a client looking for the freehold property. Then you can quickly click search, click freehold. And uh, then you go on the left side, it will default to active, that means new listing, strategy called new, here they call active. And the next one, the property type feature, the pro uh, property type, if they said I'm looking for the detach, Detach, that means um, it's a detach. <laughs> and uh, you can choose detach. Maybe someone said, oh, I'm looking for the link. Link is the first one. Maybe the price is lower. And uh, also some people say, you know what? I have very limited budget. I'm only looking for the semi-detach. So here you can choose different type. Of course, you can choose multiple cho choice. Like you can do attach, like a townhouse, detach and the link and the semi-detached, you can do as many select as you want. Or sometimes the people, they want to exclude not. Here you see all or not. Not, that means uh, you said, if you click detach, that means uh, the result will not include detach. Other, whatever any listing available, they will come out. So that is not. I think uh, usually we don't use this too much. We just quickly find the detach and the two story. That is the same thing. You can do the same as like about uh, two story and uh, the range. Remember, we don't need to put too much information. If you like a square feet, the age, if you have too much information, the less result will come out. Usually we only choose the active listing and the property type is detach or two story. The next important one is price. Price is because the price, the price is very, very important. If you have a lower price, you cannot find any listing. And let's just say we have uh, some client looking for the property in the market. Uh, it's a detached two story, four bedroom, and the price range maybe a, a $1.5 million. Let's just say put a one, 0.5, you see here they have a three zero. Don't mean is there another, uh, we 1.5, there's a total have a seven numbers. So if they here they choose, that means you don't need to put the last three numbers. You only put a one five zero zero. That means a $1.5 million. But if you put a $1.5 million, so if the listing is not exactly 1.5, you will see, you won't see from here. You see there's an eight match. That means the property exactly list 1.5. Always check the here, eight match. If you can see my mouse on the left bottom, this is the exactly update how many listing you have. If you, your client said, I only looking for 
1.5 million dollar that's maximum that means 1.5 is maximum then you can use minus the minus that means if the price re reach to 1.5 or less they will show from here you see they have lots lots of result and anyway i will put a maximum 1.5 uh bedrooms four bedroom i will put a plus that means minimum five if i have more that will be great the bathroom total bathroom usually the two story four bedroom detached house bedroom usually is one two three four usually it's a four but anyway i will put at least a three plus that means minimum they have to have a have a three bedrooms and the other thing i don't want to do the uh, modify the next one you need to choose where lots of people you see here the area the location we have to use the location but the, most of the people when you click location you see this is toronto you know people say oh maybe i, I want to look in for the markham i cannot find the markham here that will waste you lots lots of time because you have to learn learn the trap map in case you really wanted to use a trap map i will duplicate the window here uh, i will go to if you really wanted to learn the travel map you, you need to click the tools here tools and uh, on the left side you will see the trap map once you click the trap map on the right side first is the area in the gta area you see the area they will come out either the york toronto durham peel uh hilton so that is the area second one is called municipality usually in toronto they will use the e c w e that means the east of toronto c that means the center of toronto w that means the west of toronto and uh, other than toronto york region they will use the city like a markham uh, Vaughan, king aurora new market richmond hill just use the city for the community uh, i will not suggest you to memorize the community because there are too many communities you cannot memorize so usually we just leave it to municipality that's it uh, for example you're looking for the property in the markham uh, let's see markham some area let's see the whisper i think a whisper is a, is a very good area uh, you just uh, screw zoom in the so zoom out on the map and you find the municipality and then you can click a community once you click a community you will see my coven markham road and the 16 major mccancy this is exactly it's called a whisper and here it's called Bercy. so that is the people you sometimes the buyer will told you oh i'm looking for in the Bercy community we just get confused what's the first coming there what's the wisdom record what's green ball what's marham village what's the canal so that is the community you know which area if you want to learn it's not complicated just take a little bit of time you can uh, learn let's come back to the matrix uh one you can use area we we want to use york the first way is uh, you 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 can click here and uh, scroll down from the from the york that is one way and uh, click add and uh, okay you see how many step one two three one two three four step just with your four second usually i will do this way when i click here i will use the keyboard y and then you see the york that's it and the municipality you click m that means a markham that's it just a, just one just a two second you can finish community because i know there's a whisper i will click w they will come out a whisper you see the result there's only two match that means there's only two 
uh, listing available in that price range. And now you can choose go to result or you can change some information to get a more result. Uh, you can change it, maybe put a 1.6 or two, uh, 1 1.5 to 1.6. They will have a five match. That means in that area, $1.5 million. You cannot buy uh, like a two story, four bedroom, and the two garage because the price increase, uh, increase too fast. So that is a one way. You have to learn the travel map. Uh, in the stratus, I will show you another way. You don't need to learn the map, it just uh, take out everything. If the client told you, said, oh, I'm looking for the Wismer, maybe uh, four bedroom, two garage, two story, uh, under 1.5 or 1.6 million, then you can click here. It's called a map search here, map search. If you go to map search, uh, Wismer, you click a Wismer, you just uh, type the Wismer, they will quickly enter, they will quickly come out in the Wismer area. And uh, then you can use, draw the radius. Remember we showed the radius before, that means in the center they have a radius, how many kilometers. You can draw a rectangle, but usually we don't use that because you see this is not exactly, you, I will show you, if you draw the rectangle, you see, then it's not a perfectly match the exactly the location. So I will not use the that. I will use the draw the polygon. That means the shape. You can click, the mouse will change. Click and the release. Click, left click and the release. And the click, release, click, release. This is will exactly fit the area if you use the, uh, the draw polygon. So that is the uh, we we usually use in the stratus. But other than that, you still can use another way. It's very, very fast because this is you have to click, release and a drag, uh, a click and a release. So there's another way is much, much more fast. I will delete. It's called here. It's a free hand polygon. That's very, very fast. When you click, the color will become orange. And you can just click here, start. You don't need to release, just like a draw a picture. Keep drawing, keep drawing, that's it. And if you find, oh, something you, you know, here is like out of the range, you can, you can fix it. But this take time, you know what? If I uh, out of the area, I will quickly click here and delete. I will draw, draw it again. Done, that's it. And then I will go to the here, criteria. Map select five exactly match. Remember we, we use the location search, they have five. Right now we use a map, they have five. And then I will click the uh, result it will come out the five result. I can click the MLS number, go to every listing. First, I will see the how much the price. Second one, what is the intersection? And the next one, you can see this is a frontage and the dips. And the next one, you will see the kitchen. They have two kitchen. Two kitchen uh, usually is a finished basement. The basement, yeah, finished. And also they have a separate entrance. That will be great. And uh, that is the client remark. You can see the introduce of property. What is the feature, the extra, what is included in. When you do the MLS, uh, prepare the offer. Usually the extra is the chattel. So we need a copy and the paste. The remark of the brokerage broker. That is we have to quickly take a look. Usually I will focus on the date. If they see February 19, eight o'clock, that means that they will have a multiple offer on the uh, April 19th. Yeah, that's it. People, you, you usually when we check the room size, 
that that is the one uh, I think it's not a convenient feature uh, compared with strategies. The room size is here. You know, the listing, beside the listing, you have to click the room. The room, they have a, a feet, a meter and a feet, whatever you like. And the dining room, living room, a kitchen, master bedroom, and the recreation in the basement. But that is all the uh, measurement. And the next one, you can see the history. History, that means that this property before, how many times they sold. Maybe this is uh, sold, maybe expired, maybe it's uh, terminate. So you can see all the transactions for this property. How many transactions lots? There still have a more. Give you some idea, you know, how many times they sold and when they sold. Uh, before 90 days, they still not sold out. 40, 44 days is 2017. And here is uh, 17, here's 19, 19, 18. That's the last one. Oh, that's his last, uh, that's his last listing. Okay, anyway, uh, photos, that is not the first one. I'll quickly go back to first one here. Yeah, that is the first one. Go to photos, you can quickly take a look and open house no i will go to listing if you want to book a appointment you see here the house icon is called online appointment click and then you can book appointment i will not go process uh, process appointment and here uh, you have a lot of information this is the photo uh, they have more photos available, like I, I showed you before. They have uh, more photos, but anyway, they don't have uh, too much photo. And next one is uh, uh, history. Here's a two document. Two document is uh, for the Schedule B. All they have any disclosure, any other document. Usually, it's a Schedule B. When I open, I see this is a Schedule B for the listing brokerage. You have the touch Schedule B with offer. So you see that other documents, Schedule B, Disclosure, or other document. Here is called a web form. That means that when you prepare the offer, you have to click the web form, transaction case. We will take the training for next, uh, maybe a other, other seminar. And uh, here's a property line. Property line is will show you the property land registry information. Quickly click. If you click, you will see there have a different, different, uh, different uh, same street name, but uh, only thing is this. Do you know? Only thing they have a different uh, city. You see, this is city Toronto. This is uh, uh, somewhere else. This is the city of Markham. So I have to choose the city of Markham one. Get a report. Three hall. Three hall. Octopus ma. Three yeah. Nine. Not mute. I will mute for you. Yeah, once you choose, once you choose the icon, it's rarely to see. Lots of people, they call, they said, where, where is the property information? I cannot see the, like unpack. See one more time. Above of the picture, you see it's a, a blue color, like a rectangle. It's called property land. When you click a property land, they will come out those information. First, verify the street number name is correct this is a row number this is the property type residential this is the 301 single family because sometimes you see the property is detached but they are not a c301 they see the link the link is a 309 or 307 it's a link link is a basement foundation they may linked so link is the property value is less than detached we have to double check with my, uh, with our client. And also you see there's a legal description, there's anything clear, where everything is clear. The most important is the year to build, you know the property, they built 2009. The last the purchaser, that means the current owner, uh, they uh, purchased this year, January 2nd, how much they purchase is one, 
million dollar, thirty nine thousand dollars, thirty nine and eight hundred. That's it. The purchase price. How much do you want to sell? Nine ninety nine. Do you really think they want to sell nine ninety nine? No, because they put the multiple offer date. So nobody know how much. But uh, anyway, they just wanted to. I think some people they uh, purchased and they wanted to quickly to make some profit because the market is very very hot. And uh, next is the uh, valuation. So we don't need to take care. This is for the unpack. Uh, unpack the uh, assessment value for the property is to calculate the property tax. And the next one, enhance the report. They will show how many bedroom, how many full bathroom, how many half bathroom. Half bathroom usually is the first the main floor. There's only two pieces. Uh, one is a toilet, another one is a vanity. They wash the hands. There's a two pieces and they have a fireplace. They have a garage is attached. There's a one garage space. So that is a single garage space. But how come they come out to my searching? Let's take a look at the photo. The photo, you can do something from here. This is the satellite. You can check the street view. And the next, you can click here. They can change. Change the view. I want to see what it looks like. I want to turn another view, turn another view. You can see the front, you can see the back. This is a backyard, they have a fence. I turn again, this is the original view. This turn, I see that you know, there's one garage <clears throat> and uh, outside they may have one or two parking space. Yeah, I'll go back to the map. So that is the basic information. When you have a listing, find out the listing, you have to do play around, see the property when they purchase, uh, which year they built, and how many how, how many transactions in the past. So that is the first listing. If I want to go back to the list, so I will quickly click here. It's called member single land display. Member single land display. They will come out to the uh, to the list. Maybe I will go second because I'm not interested for the first one. Go second, click. You see, this is a two garage. Yeah, of course, two garage. One point to nine, one point to four nine. It's almost one point five million dollar. And uh, February sixteen is still a multiple offer. And uh, quickly click the map. I will see property looks like. If I wanted to look closer, I can click. And uh, also, you see here, it's called a virtual tour. That means uh, virtual tour, they have more information, more photos available. It's not every listing they have. Let's see the previous one. You see there's no virtual tour. That means that this agent did not spend the money to, uh, to uh, take the virtual tour and uh, we go to this one next we come this one do you see the virtual tour we click come out a window and uh, this is 3d you will see this is a dining room you can walk to another room this is the main entrance and then turn around oh too fast oh you can see the ceiling see this is a when uh when you walk in the front door, you can take a look, take a look at the ceilings all the way to the second floor. Maybe uh, 10, 20, maybe you maybe 20 or 22 feet for the ceiling. And then you walk the right side. It's a living room. And here is a dining room. Walk out from the dining room, you see the kitchen. How come the kitchen is so tiny? Oh, this is the kitchen hallway. And here is a kitchen. And this is a door to the backyard. Maybe you can walk out. Let's see, you can see. No, cannot walk out. Too cold in the outside. 
And uh, here is another family room. You can use a mouse to quickly have a tour. Yeah. This a calendar. So you can play around for the virtual tour. But right now there's a lot of the virtual tour. Virtual tour. They have a like a 3D function. You can uh, just the same as like you walk in the property here. You see the view. To give you the the layout of the property and the basement. What is the basement looks like? And uh, they give you the floor plan. We come out the floor plan. Here's a floor select. You select which floor you want to take a look, and the measurement. Maybe you can do measurement. Oh yes, this is a measurement. If you see, I want to check with this bedroom. The plus C. Yeah, they give you the measurement. Okay. Anyway, it's a very funny to play around. Uh, that is the listing second one. I think this is um, looks good. Maybe I wanted to send it to my client. I will check from here. You see the check mark, and then I will go next. You don't need to always go like a single line back to the list, you can go next. This is another property. Quickly take a look. Corner unit, two garage. I don't want to spend the time. I just click here. Quickly give you the uh, quickly give you the overview of the picture. And uh, I will go here, unpack property land. Close. They will show the property where is the property exactly located. Yeah, this is the property locate. And here I will check the information: residential freehold and the 2004 the property built. The last transaction 2019. The last sales amount 8452 dollars. You know, if you see the the amount is aware. That means it's not, it's not. They only sell the eight thousand four hundred fifty-two dollar. This is usually it's like a family member, family member. They just transfer change the title. So if you want to really to learn what is the exactly happen, you can click here. This is go to Geo Warehouse. If you never heard the Geo Warehouse. I think we will use a lot for the geo warehouse in the or uh, agents. Like uh, if you search a property for a client, we will use a lot. One is unpack, and one is a geo warehouse. So if you're not sure what happened, just click uh, geo warehouse. But remember, geo warehouse they will take count every year. You have a two thousand limited. If you reach two thousand limited, you have to pay money for it. So. They are warning you, please remember, uh, you have a, how come they change again 1,000? Last year is a 2,000, but anyway. Uh, you see, lots of people this year here, what's going on? Because the, if you click here, they will have a pop-up window. When the pop-up window come out, you have to click and allow it, allow the pop-up window. It will pop up the new window and go to Geo Warehouse. It will directly go to the property. See, this is a property with 33. And the owner's name, I will quickly go uh, owner's name. And here, I want to see what's going on. Because uh, the $8,000, you see, this is a transfer. This is a per paper purchase, 1419. 8,000 transfer. Okay, I don't want to put the name on the screen, but here you see a sales eight. Uh, from that person, this 
transfer to this person is $8,450. They may have a relative. They may be it's one family, but uh, that is not exactly real market value. So you can check it from there because they have a personal information. I don't want to show on the screen because we'll put on the YouTube. Uh, anyway, I will show you how to find the information and go to the same, enhance the report. you see the information. And the last one I didn't mention last time is called a uh, demographic area. This is from Status Canada. Uh, they will show you in this area, the family householder income over 100 uh, or 2,000. Well, 100, dollars $100, for the householder. And also they will show you how many percentage of the property they rent out. Because some buyer, they said, I want to purchase the property in the very uh, quiet neighborhood. I don't want a lot of people rent out the property. You can check from here. And also you can check the, re, the language by based on the language, you know, uh, the people, what kind of people are living there. Because here is 39 people this speak English, and that there is a 20 person majority. Maybe I think the minor majority is speak Cantonese. And also, there's another, uh, it's a lot of, the, I think, the Chinese people, lots of Chinese people living there right now. Yeah, that's it. Give you a quick, 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 quick overview how to find the household income because you want to put the buyer in the right community their income and they are like looking for what they are looking for okay so that is uh, the property second one i think this is so so uh they have a same day to put the offer no this is a pretty uh, whatever they don't have a same day to please offer and how many days on the market is 20 days Within the last 20 days, is there any change? I will click here. You see they have a price increase, price increase. Before they put a $1.2 million and they won't have a multiple offer, maybe 1.5, something like that. And uh, so that's why they are not reach the seller's uh, price and then they gave up the multiple offer. They just put the real offer, uh, put, just put the maybe a little bit higher for the market value and let the people put the offer to negotiate with the seller. So you see when they do the price change. Yeah, that is the one you see from the DOM. That means the day on market to see what happened in the past 20 days. So if you claim the interest, maybe you can quickly go there, take a look and uh, still negotiate with the listing agent. Maybe you have a, uh, you know, you still can get some price did, did uh, negotiation for the price. So maybe I will put this one on and the next one. Uh, this is a very, very new. I think maybe within two years. Uh, anyway, I will do the same thing. First, quickly go to check it with picture and uh, looks great. Not a finish, basement, not a finish. And the backyard is a small. And then I will go here, virtual tour. This is, I will show you when your client give you the specific, like looking for the, uh, where they're looking for and then what we are going to do. So for the video, yeah, you can check the video. Usually it's a picture. Yeah, the video is a picture. They put the picture in the video. So don't waste your time. Just quickly go here, check the picture. Yeah, it looks fabulous. Okay, anyway, I will close. That's good. I will check and then I will go to GWARE uh, public record. This is a property, probably very, very new property. Yeah, they built to uh, finish the 20, 20, 2016. 2016, only four years old for this house. And the owner is the first original owner. How much they purchased? 990, $990,000. But that is not the real price. Remember this is a year built, year 
they purchase, that means they purchase its original buyer from the builder. So you have to plus the HSD on the top. So if a plus HSD may be over, over a million dollar. So that is the, we can check here. Yeah, nothing special. And that lock box to our, yeah, February 15 for the multiple offer. Yes, this one probably can, maybe they can go over 1.5. But anyway, I will leave this one. Next one, this is a little bit old. Uh, Cosmo, maybe 10, 15 years old. Let's quickly take check the photo. Yes, it's uh, finished the basement. Okay, anyway, uh, I will check with MPAC. Remember, MPAC is a free, it's a no limited. You can choose as many as you want. Yes, 2004. That means already 16 years. <clears throat> and uh, the last transaction is 2016, four years ago. And a very, very high price. They purchased $1.4 million. And uh, right now they ask 1.59, but also multiple offer or not? Yes, February 10. Today, tonight is multiple offer. Anyway, I will forget about this one. So that is a five listing. I found the five listing, but I only, when I go the detail, I will show you how to go the details, do the analysis. And then I will only have a three listing is the best for the client. So I will do the one thing is I will go to email too fast. Maybe I didn't check. You see the, on the bottom, you see the email. The email means one time they will send it to the email. I will click email, send it to the client. You just need a client of first name and the last name and the email address, that's it. And then the subject, you can write or you can leave a blank. And before you send it to your client, you can quickly do a preview. Preview, that means you have your information, the property where it's located and how much the price. And then I will send to my client, send it to myself. That means I will do the test. Check the email. Yeah, this is a brand new, that means it just came out. I just click, a, I just a prom, a pretend I'm the client. I just open the email and view the all the information. Oh, this is a listing, looks good. Yeah, the client say, oh, this is good. I will put it like a save as like a possibility. Maybe this one, they said no, just uh, discard. And that this one, maybe they say the favor. So they can check all the information and they go to the listing. And this is a listing. When they come into the listing, Every, the details of the listing, they have a measurement, they have a remark of a client. So maybe they will see, maybe they will, after they check the information, the client can put notes. When can I get closing day for this property? Add notes. For example, your client, they just uh, write down the notes, so they check the listing, and then I will close. See, this is three listing. If you want to leave it, you can just go to the uh, main page, just forget about this one. Or you can do another thing. You can go to a cart. This cart you can add. You can uh, go to a cart, you can click a new cart. The new cart, W-I-S-M-E-R, for client, C-L-I-N-T, 30. 
And if you have a client information, I will go exactly the client information, save it. And then you can add to the cart. So that's it's a very fast way. You can go to the home main page and that's it. When you go to the main page, the client, they open the email. You will under here, this is called a recently portal visitor. That means that this client, they open, they have a mark as a favor. Also, they have a leave notes for you. So you can just, when you go to the main page, you can click here the notes. The notes is right here. When can I get a closing date for this property? So you can close, open, you see the position, position date is immediately. And then you come back and open the notes, you see the ASAP as you then add notes. That means you can communicate, communicate with your client once you, once you send the email. So that is the first set, the search. I use a freehold, show very, very detailed and very, very slow. I hope you can understand. I hope you can try. Next one, I will use a, a condominium search, uh, use another strategy, a strategy to search. For example, the client looking for the condominium, Young and French. I will go to search. I will go to condo, residential condo. And the first one, check condo apartment. Next one, if you check apartment, uh, condo uh, apartment or not, condo apartment, yeah, that's a condo apartment. Next one, I will choose a price. Usually we will put the price because if you don't put a price, there's too many results come out. Let's say 65, maybe 75 or less. And the location, as I mentioned, you can learn from here. Uh, you can learn from the uh, from the trap map, Toronto, and the C07, C14. But that looks like a little bit complicated. So I will not use the map. I will use not use the trap. I will use the quickly the map search. Use a map search. I will go to N O R T H North York. And then they come out to North York. And if the client is looking for the property from the French and the young uh, and the sharper, just, just around the young, I will go do the draw the polygon. Oh no, I will use another way, use a radius. Radius is, uh, uh, let's say, Young and Sherpa. I will set Young and Sherpa as the center. And do a radius search with in one. maybe less than one kilometer. So that is the center is a young and a sharper. And then I will come back. I see how many 22 listings. Now I will define how many bedroom, maybe two or less. How many bathroom, maybe at least uh, two or plus. And uh, is there any parking? Maybe at least one. There's a total none result. I will go to the result. The result they have, a, if I use a radius search, that means that they have a distance. So you can always check the distance, see which one is really the most close to the center of the radius, young and sharper. You can always, if you click again, that means they use another, uh, this is the most far. If you click, this is the most recent and uh, most close. So I can based on those information, I can do the uh, click everything, send it to my client. Or I can do another thing. Another thing is called the auto email. 
maybe the client told you said, oh, I'm looking for maybe under 75 saw them and uh, at least uh, two, uh, one, uh, uh, two bedroom or less and uh, at least uh, one parking. If you have any, send it to me every day. So once you click, once you have information, you can click here, save and use a new auto email, new auto email and uh, write the client information. Let's create a new client. Save. You can be see, you can CC to yourself. Uh, see, you can CC to anyone, maybe other than the buyer. The subject you have to write down. Young and the next one, enable concierge model. So that is if you enable, that means every time when the system they have a listing, they will automatically they will stop in the main page concierge. That means that you have to approve to approve it. So now I'm not going to use that model because they will, if I'm busy, they won't send out to the client as soon as possible. So here they have a different time. You can just want to send the morning or afternoon, but I will do ASAP. That means whatever they have listing, maybe in the next 20 minutes, they have a new listing, they will send it to your client. Click save, that's it, done. So that is another way you can do the automatically search and also you can do the check with uh, uh, the condominium. Uh, you can always go to contact. The contact is uh, all the contact you enter to the system. If you transfer from the stratus, uh, some people say, oh, in the stratus, I have lots of the contact, but how come I cannot see from here? So you can click all. You see there's a, have lots, lots of the contact is gray color. The gray color, that means they are not active. So let's see, maybe I will do it here to the one, this one. Click, I will use active. That means a client will come to active. So that is the uh, one you can manage your contact. Here, I just send it to my client the 30. 30 is the most recently one. How many sent? I just click here, card. One directly mail and the three properties. And these prop, three properties will come out very quickly. And uh, they, you will see which property you send to your client. Uh, so that is the search. I think it just touched a very, very little information for the search. Uh, at least you know how to use MLS stratus. Uh, no, it's a matrix to search freehold search the condominium, same thing. You can search commercial, commercial lease and how to send the email to your client. Uh, let's come back to the main page, uh, freehold. Let's see, I have a listing and I didn't mention that. This listing, if, if you want to print out, because some people said that, you know what, I want to print out to go to see the property. You see on the bottom, uh, beside the email, you will see the print, click a print. You can print out the information. Here you can select without the herder and the fold, uh, folder because we want to save the paper. And here's a preview. They will give you the looks like and then you can print. 
And of course, you can save it to PDF, print to PDF, if you don't want it to print out the exact paper. Uh, the last one, I think, uh, last one, we already finished one half hour, take too much time. Okay, last one I wanted to show you is a hard sheet. Hard sheet is a lot of paper. See, you know what? I just wanted to focus in the some area like Markham, Richmond Hill, maybe North York, Scarborough. I wanted to see every day if there's any listing come out. So that is what we call the hard sheet. You click here, click customize. And then if you have a, a, any area you want to customize, let's delete this one. The hard sheet only have a up to 10. You cannot be over 10. Now I want new, like for, I will add, add. The hard sheet is a freehold. The name is a call. Uh -huh. Wismer. And then they have a Markham Wismer. Next one, I will add it criteria. This is the same, same as like we just searched before. We just go to the new search. The price listing price is 160 uh, minors. And the bedrooms at least the four minors. I need a detached. I need a two story. At least the two garage. And I go to map. The map I will go to Wismer. And you can use a draw, draw a polygon. Click, release, click, release, and the OK, and the save. Done. Once you're done, you see here, the Markham Wismer will, uh, the hard sheet is going to create. I want to see in the 20, last 24 hours, is there any come out new listing? I will click Markham Wismer. There's no listing come out. If I click a little bit far, maybe today, it's the same thing. I think there is no. Maybe I click uh, uh, three days, they supposed to have a listing. No. Something going wrong. Seven days. Yeah, they have a one listing come out. I think something I set wrong. Other, let's go and uh, do added, active new, price change. Okay, anyway. I put down the top. You can set up to 10, up to 10 hard sheet every day. Like if you click, they will come out. But I don't know why they are not come out. 24 hours of this section. Yes, this section, that means that they're supposed to have a more listing come out. Scarborough freehold, nothing. Residential freehold, nothing. Okay. Uh, hard sheet that uh, basically they are using for the, you can customize when, like in the past 24 hours, in the today, in the three days, seven days, oh, you can customize when. You want to check there's any new listing come out with this area. Oh, is there any change update in the, this area? Uh, you can play around for that. Uh, now I don't. I want to stop here because I think this is a very very basic, and uh, we cannot cover everything. But at least we cover the lots. Uh, see if you have any questions from here. Let's see.
we have in the chat, we have some questions. Uh, I want, I have to make a decision between matrix and the strategy by next week. Any tips? Uh, as I mentioned before, when you log into the MLS, if you already use the strategy for a while and are very familiar with the strategy, you can, you don't need to do anything. By 17th, they will automatically default you use the strategy. And if you really want to change matrix, matrix, you need to go on the, when you log in on the top, they will give you the instruction. You have to click manage my profile and select matrix. Uh, well, I think if in the past six months or one year, the new salesperson, I will suggest you use matrix because the matrix you have to learn anyway. Matrix is much more powerful than the stratus, but they still need something needed to improve because it's uh, need to take time. Next one is about for branding. I cannot use my full, for the branding, can I not use, can I not to use full name? Uh, the branding, I think you talk about the branding here. This is the name from the Rico. If Rico is your trade name, the trap will automatically come to your trade name. If the Rico use a legal name, you don't have a trade name, the trap will automatically come out of the trade name. And Sammy, yeah. my question is uh, like, uh, you have a, a legal name, Sammy. Can you yeah. just show Sammy Young only, or you have to show the full name? Yes, I think you. this question is a uh, lot of paper confused, R-E-C-O dot O under C. Yeah, I will show you from here. Uh, I think this will be easy to explain. Uh, if in the recall, because my name, in the recall, before we have to, we before we have to register the legal name, the trade name. Yep. Before we, this is my tr legal name. Yep. Before we only register trade name is Sammy Young. But then, you know, uh, in the, I think 2014 or 13, they ask, uh, because we have a, some people is a, like a name is the same. So we put everyone is a first name, legal name, and the last name. But right now the recall is not allowed. If you want to use name Sammy Young, that means Sammy Young is my trade name. We see the lawyers uh, auth, we can send it to Rico, they will show Sammy Young. And your legal name is totally different with your trade name. If the trade name is Sammy Young, that means when the um, system, when you go to the system, they will come out say Sammy Young. They won't show your legal name. Because from my situation is before, you know, we have some problem with Rico. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think right now there's a lot of paper you rubbed as soon as you see your name. Do you mind? R O B E R T S U N. You see rabbit son is son is son is your tra uh, trade name. The re the here if I oops I, oh, I click in by accident. I close MLS. Search and I go to matrix. I go to A G R O B R T S T O N. R E R right down wrong R O B E R T. Oh, you are not a tribal member, right? Yes, you are a tribal member. See, your name is Robert Sun Sun. That means you won't show your legal name here. Because the tribe will automatically import the name, import the uh, registry name from a recall. 
And I search property outside of the GTA, like a golf. Yes, you can. Because of the listing, uh, even, the outside, uh, even the outside of the GTA, they still have an agent, have a listing. Let's see, we want to use search freehold and the uh, active listing, detached house, I will go to map. The map, I will go to here. You will see the listing will come out. Those those listing is a trap listing. Maybe some local board member, they spend the money, put a listing in the trap. Maybe the trap member, they have a listing the property in the uh, outside of the GTA area, like a Kitchener, Waterloo, you see listings. And also the Harmington, you also can see the listing in the Harmington. It's not all the listing from local board because local board, they have more listings than the trap listing. And the next one, does matrix available in iOS where we can do a search in, on our, our phone. I never try. Uh, I think you can try, go use this iPhone uh, to open the MLS, Toronto MLS and log into matrix. I never tried that. Maybe I can try later. Uh, how to search the property that was sold within 30 or 60 days? Yeah, that is a very good question. I didn't cover that. For example, I want to choose the Wismer area and uh, search within last 30 days or 60 days. I will first is not select active. I will select the sold. You see, so the data system will default automatically default one zero to one hundred eighty. That means I default the last uh, six months. So if I want only choose, uh, only want to choose since February, you you select today and select that one. They will go to only from the February. If I want to go back. Go back. Now they will select from the February and the, uh, from the January 1st to today. As you mentioned, last 60 days, last how many days? 30 or 60 days. Let's go from today zero to 60. That means in the last 60 days, I will quickly go here, York Region, Markham, W. Wismer. So they have a 29 result. And I will choose four bedroom, total bedroom, four, and uh, plus, and uh, they have 18 result. When I come out of this 18, this is a Sold within last, sold within last two months. Next one, how can we do continue email to client to send them new MLS information? Limitation for the continue email. There's no limitation, as I mentioned. If you see this is a, uh, the information you want, uh, send it to your client, like uh, any update, they will automatically send. You can click uh, create a new auto email. And uh, every time, every day, when they have a new listing, they will automatically send. ASAP. And how can we do a continue? Yeah, we already, what is the difference function with the cart and the save? It's like the same. The cart, yeah. When you, when you uh, click a save, they have a three different function. The first one is a new save the search. New save the search, that means if you click a new save the search, this is called W I S L W I S M E yeah, Wismer sold.
within 60 days. And uh, I will click it, enable as a favor. Oh, the favor right is already reached the limited. Okay, I can save. Once I save, I click on my matrix. You see the favor, uh, favor, 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 favor. Oh, here, save the search. Save the search, they will come out. Every time when you click the result, every day you click, they will give you the updated result. But if you wanted to add it, if you wanted to change, you can click the save the research, uh, save the search, click open, you can set it. And then usually we will put on the here, my favorite, my favorite search. Because here they have up to, up to uh, 10 limited. And uh, let's keep continued, continued to do. Free hold 24, pretty. Uh, next one, the save. Second one is new auto, uh, auto mail. That, that means uh, once you set the row, the search criteria, the rows, and the system will automatically send it to your client. I think I already show uh, everyone at least uh, two, three times. The next one is a new speed bar. New speed bar, that means uh, I already showed it one time. You can choose SPED speed bar. I to name whatever any name you can choose. This is a result. If you want to quickly come out the result, you can P-E-D-B-A-R. They will come out of those results. So that is the same. Save. Save, they have a three function. One is a new save the search. They will auto update. New auto email. That means that they will every day or every minute, if they have a listing, depends how you set it, they will send it to your client. New speed bar, that means it give you the uh, very quick, fast way to check those save the result. The cart, cart that means you can always, always go to the new cart, create a new cart. For example, I will click here and the new cart, W-I-S-M-E-R 60D. No, this is not, it's P-E-D speed. Anyway, uh, I will save. Then I will add it to the cart. So the add to the cart, that means every time when I come here, they will show this cart. If you have like a, uh, let's go here. If you see the price, pri uh, price increase, if you want to put everything increase to the same cart, I will go here. I will select the, remember the speed. This, this is, you can use your client name, maybe the paper looking for the, uh, for bungalow, maybe for the condo, uh, maybe for market enrichment, whatever any. If you today you find some information interest or same, you can put together. I will add, that means they have a 30 result. Give you a very fast, quick way. Next one is, what is different function card? How to open the new window for the new search? Yes, always the new window for the new search. We can, uh, on the top, you see on the top, right click, you see there's a called duplicate tab. Duplicate tab, that means you can duplicate another tab. You don't need to, whatever you are doing, you can leave it as is and open the new and keep continue search it. Use another new window. I'm already chose a stratus a few days ago. Can I change it to mattress? No, mattress, no. Uh, if you choose, uh, if you choose a stratus, I cannot answer this question, but I will suggest you log into the MLS on the main page, see if you have a, a chance to select again. I'm not sure, but you have to check. Uh, can I transfer my cart and the favor listing in Stratus to Matrix? No, you cannot because these are two systems. You only can transfer the contact, your client contact, but you cannot transfer the favor, favor listings. And if you wanted to buy, if I wanted to buy a house from the Hamilton, can I put the offer from here? Yes, you can put the offer in 
any listing within Ontario. You see there's a within Ontario. Uh, let's see where is the far area from Ontario. Maybe here, you see the front bay, maybe over, over a thousand, over 1,500 kilometers. You still can put the, put the offer in the front bay. You see front bay the listing, listing. When you put the offer, you can click here. It's called the web form, authenticity start to put the offer. But if the listing is not from the tribe MLS, you have to go here, tours, and go to web form manually to enter the information. Michael, you can just. Okay, someone they said manage my profile, they can change. Okay, okay. All right, so that's very, very basic information. I think I hope you can learn something. At least you can learn ACT. Uh, ACT, maybe 900 to 910, give you a quick way to find the, find the information. If you're looking for some aging, just go to AG. Come out. All right, so that's all for today. I think everybody can learn something, but the most important is you have to physically log into the matrix to, uh, pr uh, to practice. Otherwise, you know, you cannot get, uh, you cannot uh, <clears throat> just watch and then learn everything. Uh, is there any other question? No? Good, we have a very, very uh, 35 papers, maybe 40 papers. I think if you can, uh, if you can just uh, after we finish the training, you can uh, go to MLS to try. I will put a post this uh, uh, video in our office. We have a uh, uh, Home Life Landmark Training YouTube account. If you don't know or never go to our YouTube account, you can go to YouTube and search Home Life Landmark Training. And uh, in the training uh, training YouTube account, we have uh, uh, lots of the video, like today's video, we will put it there. And if you want to re-watch uh, it, feel free to re-watch it. Okay, thank you, everybody. We are finished today's training. Hope you enjoy the rest of the day.